All right, so we've completed our first three rounds in knit, and we're ready to begin round four of our Pavo Cow. And what we're doing essentially in this round is we're creating these sets of elongated stitches, and then we're later going to decrease into these stitches um, on row five. So to do this, if you are a uh, English style um, knitter, what you'll want to do is go into your stitch as if to knit and you're going to yarn over your needle and then when you pull up the stitch before you actually pop it off the left hand needle you want to elongate this stitch to about an inch and a half long and what you'll want to do before you uh, drop this stitch and go on to the next one is just pinch the stitch um, I use my thumb and my middle finger just to hold on to that um, length of that stitch so you don't lose it. And then pop that off the needle and while you're still holding that stitch, go into your next stitch as if to knit. And after doing that, you want to continue to hold on to that previous stitch. Um, at this point I would use my left hand, the thumb and the middle finger, and now you can knit the next stitch but we're going to do it in the same way we did that previous one as if to knit and pull up a loop and elongate the stitch and you're going to just make it as long as you as you did the previous stitch so they're approximately the same length and then pinch that stitch just as you did before pull that off of the needle and then continue in this fashion in the next stitch pinch this one Do the next stitch, elongate it, okay, pinch, remove, and go into the next. So once you get the hang of this, it'll go fairly uh, quickly. Okay, but essentially we're just going to go around the entire round until we've created 190 of these elongated stitches.